Hello maths fans, Dr Tom Crawford here at the University of Oxford and today I'm very excited to bring you another maths theme love song courtesy of Tom Rocks Maths intern Sadiq Islam. Now, before we get to the actual song, I do need to briefly explain a couple of mathematical concepts to help you to better understand some of the lyrics. First of all, Sadiq will be singing about two polynomial functions. The first is minus 7 times x to the power of minus 8 plus 3. And the second function, it's very similar, is going to be x to the minus 7 plus 3x plus c. Now for those of you who have some experience with calculus, you may notice a relationship between these two functions. So taking this function and moving to here occurs through integration. So if you integrate the function on the left, you will arrive at the function on the right. And likewise, if you differentiate the function on the right, you will arrive at the function on the left. And this relationship between these two functions is really key to the song. Another interesting property of these two functions comes from drawing their graphs. So if we were to do this, and let's just focus on the positive quadrant, so x and y both positive numbers. So if we were to sketch these two functions, then you would see one of them comes in like so and then disappears, and then the other one kind of comes in and goes down like this. So the key thing here is that these two functions, their graphs, do not intersect. Sadiq will also make reference to a couple of other functions and their graphs in the song. These are the exponential function and its inverse, the natural logarithm. If we briefly look at their graphs, then what we have here is for x and y once again, the exponential function increases very quickly. So it comes in from zero and then it goes up very quickly like this. So this is e to the x or exponential function and the natural logarithm, which is the inverse function of the exponential this sort of comes in here and then goes down like this. So this would be the natural log of x. And just like the graphs over here of our two polynomial functions, these two graphs also do not intersect. However, whilst this is true for real valued solutions, the graphs do not intersect as shown on the plot, if we allow our solutions to be complex, then there are in fact intersection points. And you can see this by doing a little bit of algebra. So if we wanted to solve the equation, it would be e to the power of z is equal to the natural log of a complex number z, and we are looking for complex valued solutions z. Now, there are two ways to write a complex number z. We can write this as z equals r e to the i theta, where r is the distance from the origin and theta is the argument, the angle with the positive x-axis. This is called the polar form. And we can also write z as x plus i times y. So x here is the real part and y the imaginary part. Now, if we substitute this one, the polar form into the right hand side. Then we can say here the right hand side of this expression is equal to the log of two things. So we have the log of a product. The log of a product is a sum of logs. So it becomes log of the first part. So we get log r plus log e to the i theta. But log is the inverse function of e, so they cancel and you get log r plus i theta. And if we now rewrite this in terms of x and y, this becomes log 
of the square root of x squared plus y squared plus i times arctan of y divided by x. And here I've just used the standard conversion from polar coordinates back to the Cartesian plane. Now, in the left hand side, we're going to use this form of our complex number. So substituting that in, we can say the left hand side is now e to the x times e to the i y. But e to the i y, that's Euler's formula. So we can replace that with e to the x times cos of y plus i times sine of y. And if we split that up, that's e to the x cos of y plus i e to the x sine of y. So now we can actually equate the real part and the imaginary part of these two expressions. So if I take a different color chalk, we can say the real part here, this log of the square root x squared plus y squared, that has to be equal to e to the x cos y. And then the imaginary part, which here is arctan of y over x, has to be equal to e to the x sine y. So these two are equal, and these two in green are also equal. So now we have simultaneous equations, two equations in our two unknowns x and y, and you can actually solve this and find the complex intersection points of the exponential and the logarithm. You have to do this numerically, and the solution you get is that z is equal to approximately 0.32 plus or minus 1.34 times i. So these would be two intersection points in the complex plane of the exponential and natural logarithm functions. But this is a long little tangent I've taken you on. For the purposes of Sadiq's song, the important thing here is the intersection of these two graphs does exist, but it only exists in the complex or imaginary plane. The final piece of maths mentioned by Sadiq is Euler's identity. So you will hear a reference in the song to e to the i pi, which is Euler's identity and is equal to minus one. This can also be rewritten as e to the i pi plus one is equal to zero. This is my favorite version of the identity uh, because I believe this one to be the most beautiful and this is seen as the most beautiful equation in all of maths precisely because we have the five main mathematical constants. So e i, which is the square root of minus one, pi, one, and zero. So the beauty of this equation will again be referenced in the song. There's also a throwaway comment to minus 1 12th being the sum of the natural numbers, but I think at this point, we all just want to hear the music. Sadiq, take it away. You plus me is all plus 3x plus c
exponential Its domain is boundless and it reaches into infinity While at first incremental The rate at which it's growing is increasing gradually They say I resemble E to the I pi Beautiful in all I do But I am just helpless Cause I still feel like a minus one without you Plus me is all I'd ever dream to be You see you're my minus 7x to the minus 8 plus 3 And equally, I'm your x to the minus 7 plus 3x plus c logarithmic, it inverts every positive thing that my love might try It's just tough luck, isn't it? My love will only touch your heart in an imaginary place like I Could try to envisage any other number from infinity to one or two And there's some you'd have distance Well I still feel like a minus one twelfth without you Plus me is all I'd ever dream to be You see, you're my minus seven x to the minus eight plus three And equally I'm your x to the minus 7 plus 3x plus c Can we be we instead of just you plus me? Well, we are not defined when x is 0 And there are no real solutions here My favorite number's 2 but nothing